and welcome to the hey we get to have new music i didn't like the halloween stuff christmas music does that seem a little aggressive the season. okay hold on this is whatever i decide in three two one and okay now i can introduce the podcast welcome to the baking it down podcast with sugar cookie marketing where we take one marketing nugget each week dive into this is not it. a nugget week not a nuggy week no chicken nuggies <laughs> Vendi Blendy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we're going to talk about is the vendor blender because Heather has renamed it technically to the Vendi saving blender. money. Could be saving. a marketing oh, tactic. Yes. The less you spend, the more you make. There you go. Don't tell my bank account that. <laughs> it doesn't need to know. This podcast is about the vendor blender, which Heather has renamed this year confusingly to the Vendi Blendy because we said Vendi Blendy so much last year. But before we jump in, I want to talk about the elefante in the room. Mm. What in the world? Do you need an elephant sound? Remember Go ahead, bust it. Everyone, prepare yourself. Do not. <laughs> that was a little podcast. I got, I got dying a podcast right at home in front of my mirror. <laughs> Yesterday, and I actually took a poll in the group. It was interesting how many people noticed that they were affected by this or not. I'll let anybody guess before we reveal in three, two, one. Lots of countdowns. Yeah, a lot. I'm going to be counting up the Vendi Blendies here in a second. <laughs> uh, but Instagram had this major glitch, which is so funny. So, Corey and I have a Monday morning meeting. Yeah. The MMM. <laughs> the Monday morning meeting. <laughs> so on Sunday night, yeah, you know what? Shoot me. I had a follow train. I said follow the Instagram account for Sugar Cookie Marketing because uh-huh. I, I did look up. You need to have swipe up on stories, link on Instagram. You do need 10,000. However, it's not the only way to link on an Instagram story. However, however, if you use Facebook Planner, you can't use clip art. Yeah. You know, giphies or whatever. So I need the 10,000. So I got to swipe up link on Instagram. So close. So I said, hey, everybody, if you follow the sugar cookie marketing underscore Instagram account, I'll post up two Vendi Blendy Vendies. Because not everyone listens to podcasts. Yeah. In fact, many people don't. 500 people away. (laughs) So we were getting, I was like, oh, good. Like, you know, it's a slow go. It was slow go. But I I saw it ticking up there. Ticking up, ticking up. So then to prepare for the 3M, the Monday morning meeting, I, you know, record all the social metrics. Because, you know, numbers in, numbers out. Can't. Should we call it Monday morning meeting with miracles? The 4M. (laughs) (laughs) The monotonous Monday morning meeting with the miracles. (laughs) The 5M. (laughs) So I had, you know, written down the numbers Sunday night, and then I was just going to recap, like, just, I was kind of stoked a little bit. But you guys know, twin number two, I wake up super early. When I was waking up super early, I was looking at the accounts, and I said, wow, they are trickling down. I said, what did Heather post to yeah. offend so I people? texted Corey. I said, hey, running the numbers for the 5M coming up here in 10 minutes. <laughs> 30 minute Monday morning meeting. <laughs> a monotony with the miracles. And people are like, okay, you've lost the listener. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So I said, uh, I thought we were kind of heading in the direction of 10K. We were heading we were in the very opposite much, I said, did I say of something offensive? <laughs> Anyways, Corey said, the world is on fire. Instagram is taking out accounts left and right, suspensions, bans, permanent deletions. At first, people thought it was just bot accounts, but no. It was actual it was the purge. business accounts, personal accounts. There was no rhyme. And I said to people, like, listen, don't try to figure out what you post. Nothing you posted. It's just... Someone said it was Mark Zuckerberg snapping his fingers and half the accounts get deleted. <laughs> I think someone walked into Meta headquarters and instead of switching on the light switch, they did the, the death switch. <laughs> they delete Instagram switch. I don't know. I wonder if they'll tell us what happened. Because that doubt, was wild. I doubt they will. I so don't. kind of what happened, just to kind of break it down. On Sunday, a lot of people reported issues logging into their app on on Instagram. So it just kept crashing. Mm-hmm. And then on Monday morning, kind of 8.30 Eastern. Mm-hmm. Uh, just mass reports of people like, hey, I've had this account my whole life. It's gone. Uh, this one account I have is gone. This account's suspended. Uh, I lost 10,000 followers in the course of one hour. That's because they were popular. We lost 500. 100. 100. <laughs> we lost two. But it still hurt my feelings. So, yeah. So whatever happened, probably it resolved, and I want to say in about five hours. Yeah. From start to finish. It, first, it was like all these numbers tanking, and then it slowly was trickling back upwards over the course of probably four hours. I, so uh, so at the beginning, right when the suspension started going through, people obviously repealed because that wasn't fair. But Did you say repealed or appealed? Oh, they appealed. Looking for a repeal. <laughs> oh, it was a repeal. <laughs> we repealed the law. <laughs> we took it back. Okay. <laughs> they appealed the repeal of their <laughs> ability. Um, so I've seen people like, oh, like, so Tanya said, when I appealed for the repeal, 
uh, I it glitched and now it just says count doesn't exist anymore. So oh. a lot of these people are in limbo. I saw one guy's like I accidentally like I guess they were at asking for authentication by holding up a series of numbers in a selfie. This is what I saw on Twitter. Oh, weird. guy said I accidentally uploaded the wrong photo. Like I had the right one, but I fat, fat fingered <laughs> and picked like, the other so one. Nervous. He's like, now everything's gone. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, but so, I, everyone seems to, all the numbers at least on our side are back. Many of the people who said I've lost everything, I asked them again in the group, and they were like, yeah, I got it back. But the the glitch happened to just about everybody. Some people are like, my account's so tiny. Nothing happened. Yeah. Someone's like, I don't if log in If you didn't log in in five <laughs> yeah. hours, you didn't notice. So I did take a poll in the group. And again, some people said, you know, if I'm honest, whale, I don't log in during the time, so I'm not sure if I'm affected. Yeah. But here are the numbers from my podcast poll I'm starting to do weekly. Okay. Look at how long he's loading. He's thinking. He is. I call it the Gram Slam, which I thought was hilarious. You did. You used it often. Okay, show. we had 600 votes. Uh, 70% of people said they they didn't notice anything. Wow. So how many? Like 70, 70%. 70%? Yeah. Wow. But again, if they didn't log in within the five hours, True, they wouldn't have noticed. And keep in mind, 8.30 our time and True, Cali is just sleep. like, yeah. They're just wait, resting there weary. You're hands. about to go to bed. <laughs> That's what it feels like. California, you're 25 years behind us. <laughs> you're up. You're 25 years ahead of us. Uh, 14% said I lost followers and my numbers are back up. This was posted yesterday at 1.30 p.m. So right when I started seeing it switch back. Yeah. Uh, 11% said I lost followers. My numbers are still down. 3% said I was suspended for 30 days, but now I'm unsuspended. 1% said I was suspended for 30 days and I'm still suspended. And 1% said my account was deleted and I still don't have access. 0% said my account was deleted and I got it back. However, in the comments, I did see that. Oh, wow. Someone said, I got my account back, but it now just calls me Instagram user and all my photos and posts are gone. <gasps> but then they got it back. Oh, wow. So it's whatever it was, It's it was undone. So if you guys remember back, I want to say just a few months ago, Facebook we had went year down. Ago. Was it? Yeah. Time been flying. Yeah. Uh, Facebook went down for almost a whole day. I definitely think it was eight hours. It or was so. like every function. So it wasn't just Facebook. It was Reddit, Facebook, and another big player, Twitter. Maybe um, all of them use Amazon Web Services, I yeah. think, and that is where the issue glitched out. But went down, and people were unable to contact their customers. So imagine if yesterday most of your customers came from Instagram, which I know a lot of you guys say I don't use Instagram and fair, but just imagine if you did. What if that was your number one lead source, which is why I'm always leery. Yeah. Obviously, our number one lead source is the Facebook group. It was not Instagram. We can't even get 10,000 followers. <laughs> Try it, man. We're fine. Try it. We were safe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was pretty wild. So I always like to challenge people, challenge people. is like, consider what would happen if this was all gone tomorrow. Where would your lead source? Yeah. Would your business stop? Would you have to go back to – do you have to work at Target and find the Target? I know. Price? So we're talking about, like, email, email lists – um, your own website to get orders, a CRM software so you can have those leads going on as you collecting phone numbers. That was the people unliking the page. Yeah, one went down one. Oh, did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I did. I'm gonna blame it on the bot. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on that Christmas photo. That's annoying. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. People unfollow. <laughs> I went and unfollow. I would have left the page too. Okay. I'm sorry. There's a a physical likes counter that Corey and I bought years and years ago. It's, it's stupid expensive. What's it called again? Smurl. A smurl. I think it has two I I R L. Yeah. And it's from France and they charge like it's from France. But it, it's a physical likes counter. We were going to give it to our clients with brick and mortar stores because it's kind of interesting because somebody can walk into your store. Yeah. As long as there's Wi Fi, uh, they can like your page and it reflects on this the thing. The problem was our clients aren't necessarily tech signed. And it required so we were, just a little bit. We of were a... doing too much work. But we Heather just posted, when does the tree go up? Graphic. If you're in the group, you can snag it in there. But now it has 454 reactions. Okay. The most controversial thing in the world is candy corn, like it or not. Yeah. And the second most controversial yeah, thing is when do you put tree. up the tree? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back to the Vendi Blendy. That is a wild thing, the Instagram thing. I know. Crazy. I was sad a little bit. You were. Yeah. But then I was like, are they just bots? Like, is this a good thing? It, it turns out they weren't. No. It was you beautiful people. <laughs> Hashtag Halloween and watch the bots appear. They're all they're <laughs> yeah. all back. So okay, let's scoochie on to the Vendi de Blendi of 2022. It's a fun concept. So we wanted to break the whole thing down, then go through each vendor, and that's going to be today's podcast. And I know we touched on it last week, but there's still so many questions out there. I just wanted a spot that I could send folks to if they're like, "What is the vendor blender?" So that's why we are going to cover it in depth. 
in today's podcast. I like it. So right off the bat, what most people are wondering is how much will this cost me to participate? No, no. What they're wondering is what is it? Fair. <laughs> Bad. The name doesn't give much. <laughs> right. Okay. The history of the vendor blender is I, I work in, I used to work in property restoration. It's not if it's when. There you go. We can all take that into marketing as well. Zuckerberg, it's not if it's when. It'll all come crashing down. But uh, it was a – no one likes to be sold to. No. You know, like when you walk through the mall and then the kiosks yeah, I and you're get I very – I get very you know, sweaty. I, I get sweaty. Corey makes this go – she mapped out the kiosks that where they grab you and they say – Try to do your hair. Can I wash your hands for you? And we got to go upstairs and we got to go downstairs. And then we got to go to this elevator and go back upstairs and go back downstairs. You're and welcome. that way you can avoid – the kiosk, because it is a little, like, if you just want a window shop, you don't actually probably want to be sold to. No, At I, least that's not me. Yeah. Uh-uh. So in this day job, they someone came up with a reversed kiosk, in which case people pay for you to window shop. Like, nobody's forcing you to do anything. There is no cost. And it alleviates a lot of that anxiety of, like, oh, I want to be a part of it, but I don't know if I'm going to want anything, yeah. and I don't want to pay. and I, but I don't I want to feel guilted into buying something just because I'm there. Right. So then, thus, they had these vendor blenders, which sounds hilarious to me. So last year, someone said, I think the group said, I didn't come up with this idea, hey, can you find some discount codes for Black Friday for the group? So we always have group discount codes. There's a spreadsheet that floats around where you can get like 10% off, 5% off, just people submitting their shops. It's a great way to see if you can get a deal on something rather than paying full price. Check the cutter shops on there because you can save if you wanted to. Yeah, so then we were like, well, we already have the group discount list. And the requirement to be listed there is got to be around – it's got to be like a perpetual. Yeah, Yeah, but 10% 10%. never ending. Yeah. Okay, cool. And 10% is awesome. But if we were going to do a one-day only event, might as well make it worth its weight. Yeah. So we said, okay, any vendor who wants to be involved, you have to give 20% or more. It's a requirement. There's no – you're not allowed to be a vendor under 20% discount. So, so many people, so many vendors are really interested in the idea. And thus was born the Vendor Blender. Vendor Blender. And how does the Vendor Blender work? Can I join the Vendor Blender right now? So let's go through the questions of kind of what it costs. Let's do the when, what, where, when, who, why. What, who, where, where when, yeah. why. Mm-hmm. So who. Who's well, that who would put us going through all the vendors. Then put that at the bottom. Who, what. So what is it? Yeah. Did we do that? Kind of. Where. It's on Facebook. Okay. So it is an interesting concept because it is... If you think, well, this is sheer fun. It is the epitome. My, I had a friend in high school, and she read that word as epitome, and I can't not think of it. <laughs> it's epitome. the epitome of FOMO. So what happens is you, everyone goes to pend in this group. You will not get in. There are four members, me and Corey and me and Corey. Um, that's it. So on the day before the vendor blender or the week before, I'm going to let the vendors in. They'll be the only ones allowed to make posts on Black Friday, so November 25th. Midnight, again, everything is going to be Eastern Standard Time. So Californians, I think they end up winning here. And the UK people got to like wake up at an ungodly yeah. hour. Mm-hmm. I have to, yeah. So what happens is you'll pin for this Vendi Blendy. Search the Vendi Blendy by Sugar Cookie Marketing on Facebook. Vendi Blendy also works. And then request to join. There's three entrance questions. They don't really matter. I just need to screen out bots. Pend. Pend. Pen. 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 You pend until the when of November 25th. So on Black Friday at midnight. So that means when the day starts. Yeah. So the last minute of Thanksgiving opens into the first minute of Black Friday. That's when the doors open. Now, if it's anything like it was last year, it's not a let all in. At one time, it'll let me do so only so many. I'll just keep pressing the button until we get everybody yeah. in. Once everybody's in, then you'll find at the pinned post – all the discount codes and all the shops. So I'm not going to say the discount code until we get to the day. Mm -hmm. And all the vendors have to do is have that code activated for just one day. Outside of that, they do not got to do anything. Mm -hmm. But that code will get you guaranteed 20% or more off. That's who went. Okay, where? Where? Why? Why? I don't know. It's fun. People ask for it. You're a glutton for punishment? Yeah. Yes. Defo. So last year we had roughly 33 vendors, correct? 37. 37 vendors. And this year we ha- needed to have a minimum of 20 vendors. And we have passed, we have surpassed the 20. So the vendor blender is on my folks. It is going to happen. When you enter the group, if you just need to shop and go, say that you want to go to bed, which is normal. Let's talk about the cost. 
cost zero dollars is zero dollars to come browse to come and shop to come click links zero bucks to win door prizes comment that's the only requirement that really truly is no purchase necessary so technically you can get something from the vendor blender if your name is drawn without spending a dime that entire day i know but we'd like to make it that it'd be hard for you to resist reaching into your pocket what do you do with your hair it looks I'm, one I'm crazy playing with it. it's just distracting <laughs> like hand uh, like a wishy hand I know it's what I do when I like need to play with something <laughs> so it costs you zero dollars in fact the vendors paid to be in front of you and they paid into giving away an eddy to one lucky blender pender yeah blender pender <laughs> so somebody will win how you're going to win that eddy it's probably going to be a prompt like we did for the sugar cookie marketing booth day bash but I'll have to work with Corey on that one mm-hmm you won't need to worry about it again till November 25th because nothing happens until then. Right. Now, on the, the 25th, when we open the doors, the vendors have the option to make three to four posts. Now, how they want to go about that is fine. One of them can be a 10-minute Facebook Live demonstrating a product. Highly encourage it. Two of them will be post with a photo. Whatever they want, that is up to them. Now, I'm going to coach them from a marketing standpoint of what I saw perform well last year. Uh, and then really kind of include in their posts, how can people shop? What are your, you know, this year I collected uh, the vendor's top three bestsellers. Are they on post approval? Everyone will have to be because that's the way the grant works. Starts. Okay. So people who are just coming to shop cannot make a post in the group. So you won't have to comb through a million posts trying to find the vendor's post, which is fantastic. But you'll only be able to comment on the vendor's post itself. Emailing me and have their questions about like what a vendor sells or when are you like where's the tracking information, we will not be able to help you. That in is fact, between- this year I've collected the support email for you to reach out to your vendor directly. Yeah, good. Because uh, me and Heather will be clueless. We're only hosting. We are not a part of anyone's like um, supply chain. <laughs> right. No, there is no supply chain in the three, the five and Monday morning meeting. Mm-hmm. But well, so what happens is you guys join and then look for the post. Now, every vendor has the option to also get an additional post by offering a door prize. But I said this year, the door prize has to be awarded to somebody in the comments. However, the vendor wants to handle that. Of course, I'm going to well, encourage them. was it them. last year that you, you changed it? To I don't know. Jump through 50 hoops. It's whatever. Oh, okay. I didn't have any yeah. requirements. So now I just wanted to keep it pretty easy, easy so that each vendor gets an additional post. However, they want that post to go up is up to them. But they'll pick a winner in the comments. Yeah. And a lot of people did door prizes last year. And a lot of people are doing door prizes this year. Yeah. So that's even more fun because you don't have to buy anything. You just have to be there. So the can you be a part of the vendor blender and just only come for an hour? Absolutely. The pin post at the top will have the discount codes. What is not guaranteed is their stock. So mm-hmm. if you wait eight hours and you come and you're like, okay, I'm ready to shop till I drop in, uh, one of the vendors runs out of products. Sorry. So be it. Yes. But if you want to get in there, set your alarm clock to 12.01 on the 25th, get Eastern. in there. Yeah. Get in there. Buy all your stuff. Then Go come back into the group later for the door prize thing. You absolutely can. The vendor's posts are not timed out. It's whatever they want to make their post. Now I'll encourage them to kind of post where we see groups most active. And that's going to be Eastern Standard Time around... As soon as the doors open, so mm-hmm. midnight till one, we'll see some peak, and then it'll be a big lull. So I'm going to encourage vendors, hey, I wouldn't post around that time if it was me, and then I'd probably pick up my post around 8, 9, 10 a.m. But w- when Heather's encouraging them, it's truly up to the vendors to choose when they went to. So if you're there and when Heather says they're lulling out and someone makes a post and you're the only one who comments on there, well, I <laughs> might win. <laughs> now, once the vendors make either their three or four posts, they'll lose the ability to make more posts, mm-hmm. but everyone in the group can comment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ask your questions on their comments. Support your favorite vendors by bumping their posts, by commenting. Say on a vendor, again, we don't want to, we got to respect the vendors, right? They pay quite a bit of money to get in front of you guys. But if you say, oh, I really like this vendor shop, then in the comments say, oh, I I buy from this cutter shop all the time. Here's my favorites. Feel free. Yeah. Or share a picture of the cutter you made with that cutter shop so people can see. Yeah. And you can support them. Scratch their backs. They are scratching yours. So the the group will be only operational for 24 hours. That's the the whole hype behind it. Uh So you can get in there, shop till you drop, and we'll go over which vendors are going to be a part of it here in a second. And then at midnight, we are going to ask everyone to leave the group, and that is midnight of the 25th. Those who did not catch the memo, who are stragglers, we will forcibly remove. And then the vendor that sounds blender very violent of you. will end until, fingers crossed, It'll end her. You have to say it. With the <laughs> the vendor blender will end her at midnight on the 25th and everything will go back to normal. 
their codes will expire. Expire, and we will be ready stuff for Christmas. All in all, it's a great time. It's kind of fun. Everyone gets to buy stuff at a discount. The vendors get to make what I see a big sales day for them, mm-hmm. and kind of a win-win all around. Except for me and Corey, because we don't get to sleep. Mm-hmm. Right. Catch you take morning that. post. I'll take night post. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I think it's a fun way to, one, give vendors some attention. Some of these vendors are a little bit newer, so you can learn about new vendors. Um, But I'll say that the list covers quite the gamut from ingredients, cookie cutters, fun gifts for cookie ears, supplies, vanilla, all the stuff. So if you have a baking bestie and you guys do a gift exchange, this might be... It'll be a fun one. The time of the year to stock up for them. It's that time mm-hmm. of year when the world falls in love. And love and it's trying to sound like we're not all good. <laughs> we just came from yeah. <laughs> So I think it's a lot of fun. So again, just to recap, zero cost to join. Zero cost to join. You might, you will pen. There is nobody getting in. The vendors will get in a little bit early, but that's so I can communicate with them. Some of the vendors have um, helpers, so they'll get in. I'll coach them, and then we'll open the door, and then the majority of people will get in. So right now, 2,200 people are pending for the vending. <laughs> but I think if we get well, we last 25, 25 days till the vendor blender. And 25 vendors. First. I got to get to post nice. now. Nice. And we got to get to – how many people were a part of the browsing? My heart says 5,000 last year. Oh, so, okay, we got some work to do. Mm-hmm. So, guys, if you're listening to this um, and you want your friends, friendies, to be part of the blendies, um, you tag the group, invite them to the group, and they'll just pend there. All of us will. Um, but give them a chance to get a discount at their favorite job. Now, I'll send this out in an email. Noise. Tomorrow, a Wednesday, Wednesday. Nice. And everyone can kind of I shop the shops, but you have so to be on the list. Let's, let's get – oh, yeah. So if you're a vendor and you're listening, <laughs> tis the time to join. <laughs> you want to go see. So let's go from first sign-up to most recent sign-up. However, I do you want to keep the door open for more vendies? Yeah. Okay, you can sign up to be a vendy at sugarcookiemarketing.com forward slash vendy. Now, but the the sooner you join as a vendor, the more times the more we can mention juice you. you get. If you yeah. sign up the night before, <laughs> well, I'd be happy to take your money, but I don't think you got enough juice out of it. Because okay, let's kind of break it down. Okay, okay, the podcast gets about six thousand listens a week. Yeah, so six thousand times. When did we start promoting this? I don't know. Two weeks ago. Six thousand. So let's pretend we were doing this for six weeks promotion. Yeah. Right? Time six. Okay, so you're already going to reach 36,000 ears. Now, some of those are re-listens because some people like us. Some. The group is 36,000, 37,000 members. The email list, don't make fun of me, is only 4,000. But I email that out once a week. So 4,000 times six is boop. Someone's like, do it in your head. No, 24,000. I think I got it on that The one. Facebook page, because of those viral posts, is at 25,000. Yeah. TikTok is at 2,000. Very humble. Instagram is almost at 10,000. Well, definitely not at 10,000. That one, no. <laughs> so you have the opportunity to reach that pe- those people, because we're going to promote this again for... We're posting it in the feed, in the stories. Group. Um, in the group. Page. Page. Emails. Podcast. Something else in there, wasn't there? TikTok. Talk. And maybe if you want to post on YouTube. <laughs> well, nobody's going to see it there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that would be, honestly, if you're like, oh, I'm not sure I want to reach it. That seems like a lot. But you get a lot back in eyes and ears. You do. Eyes and ears. And if it brand me, awareness. Corey and I are going to be a vendor. <gasps> we are? Yeah. All right. Well, we dive into the vendor, the vendor list. Okay, I have my vendor list pulled up here. We're going to start with AE Core Backes. AE Core is a food safe backdrop. If you have seen any of my photos, it's always taken on an AE Core. Um, they're rigid. They're, I get the 23 by 23. It's perfect size for flat lay photos if you need to. Um, but c- myriad of colors, myriad of you know finishes if you want it. Uh, What's your favorite one? I always start with polar white. You can dress it up, dress it down. Just take it right on the polar white with nothing. But it's bright white, um, so easy to edit. So her three best sellers I got right here is polar white is number one bestseller. So if anyone's wondering, like, where should you start? Start with what everybody else is doing. <laughs> Why well, reinvent the wheel? <laughs> the second one is white marble stone. Does that make sense? It's very pretty. And then the A core backers brackets. It. Now, I had somebody ask a great question. Mm-hmm. She was like, do you get one or two? You get one per order, right? So you it comes with one. It's not a double set. If you... 
because you said the backers and the backdrops, when you order a backer from them, you get one 23 by 23, or they have bigger sizes for oh. you cake people, backdrop. Oh. So that is a square. It okay. does not come with the brackets, though. If you order two backers, you will then need to also purchase the connections. And there are the L connectors. That's the brackets. The brackets. And they allow your two boards to stand up. So one's flat, one's standing up. So you can take like a slanted photo. So it doesn't have to be so right. flat. Line. So if you buy just one, you're looking at a flat line. If you buy two, you can kind of get more flexibility yeah. there. Um, and you could buy a polar white and a white marble and kind of make a nice little. Um, yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful backdrop. And you can switch those up too. Okay, so she'll actually be running 30% off because, you remember, they only had to run 20% off, but she chose to be extra, which we love. I know. And last year she did, I think, 25% and this year 30%. I am s- – I swear I said I have I it. I have it. Anyway. We said I'll this last that. week. We okay, another one I've already announced is Minted Prints. Now, here's what you didn't know. They are actually selling cookie cutters now. She is? Uh-huh. Yeah, physical cookie cutters. That's her third, her second bestseller. Oh my goodness! So and she then has she, great cutters. She did that back in October. I looked at their Instagram, and she was like, "Just oh. you know, physical cutters are coming." Back. Oh my goodness! Nice. So, uh, Minted Prints has a cookie cutter lounge membership for STL downloads. That's her number one bestseller. Okay. Then her second bestseller is the physical cookie cutters, and she'll ship them cute, to you. So cute. if you're like, "Oh, I don't have a 3D printer." or you're sane and you don't want to cry over 3D printing, then you can still get those. And then she has a her third bestseller is Procreate Course for Cookiers, and that's actually what she's giving away as a door price nice. as well. Back to A course, she's giving away brackets as a door price. Nice. So, so those, you'll see four posts from them. I'm not sure everyone's going to go live because they seemed horrified by some it. Some people are, some people aren't. I, I think they like could pre-record <laughs> the video if they wanted yeah. and upload them. Sugar Dash Co., Meredith is a return. All these three have returned from the last vendor blender, see? so they must have had good results. Yeah. Uh, Sugar Dash Co., she's adorable. Her husband is going to help her, unless she just knows a man named Jeremy with the same last name. <laughs> but she's doing 25%. 25% off, and she is a great cutter shop. And I see her adding new stuff to her Etsy shop every week. So. Right. So her number one bestseller, let me know if you have these, scripted numbers one to nine. Oh, those are great. I think so, yeah. right? I see them a lot. Um, Honey Bear Trio set. I have to check that out. Yeah. Princess Dress set number one. Oh, okay. I like how specific she yeah. got on these. <laughs> Uh, and so that'll be good. Now, what they're giving away is a box of 30 cookie cutters. 30 that'll be their dirty. Cutters? Yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was crazy. That'll be their door prize. Didn't she say dirty? Yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> dirty cookie cutters. <laughs> it is cookies out of dark. No, 30 <laughs> cookie and dirty. 30 and door. cutters. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> All right. Okay. I left. I asked Summer, what is, what did my own dad say after I left on Saturday? I'm just You're curious. So like, nosy. Yeah, nosy. And Summer's like, not anything. But you know, when somebody says like, okay, what'd yeah. they say? Dad just says he can't understand you, and sometimes he tries to look at your mouth to see if he can figure out the words. But you but don't even move your mouth. Don't touch. Dirty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I announced this vendor last night, Jennifer Harris with Bees Baked Art Supplies. A fan fave. Twenty percent off. Now, here's her best sellers, which I think if everyone's trying to like, you know, inflation's being crazy. Yeah. Corey couldn't find eggs yesterday. Could not. I think it was a made-up excuse for no, a Monday I swear, morning. I <laughs> where are the eggs? <laughs> oh, my. I cannot find eggs. Her number one bestseller is tipless bags, which I know people love. Love. Patterned parchment paper, which is a pretty I new skill. Those. Yeah. That's yes. pretty neat. So how does a patterned parchment paper work? So it's a piece of parchment paper just like you would bake on, but they have embossed it with a specific design. And you so- print it on your... Not print it. You lay it on there like, and let it dry. Squishle it and then pull it off. Yes, nice. when it's dry. That's a nice addition to a wedding set. Kind yeah. of like, you know. Look at you. Yeah. Yes. Don't make me. Girl. Don't make me. And her third bestseller is Genie Products. So if you want Genie's dream stock up, you need the, the, and the meringue powder. 20% off. The thingamajini. Mm. I don't know if she sells the airbrush, but I'll have to look. I'll have to look. She's giving away a $50 gift card code to Beast Baked Art Supplies oh, as her door price. price. Now, uh, number 18 vendor. Sorry, you got to disregard yeah, the number. 18? <laughs> I'm counting this backwards. I just needed a numerical value for my own records. Sam Optin Bosch. No, that's not how you say it. Optin. Optin. Bosch, not kitchen name. Bosch. Yeah, it ends with Bosch. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sam's Cookie Company. Now, she is doing 20% off. I'm a part of their membership. I wonder if that – oh, yeah. Here's the thing that Sam sells, which I think if you are even thinking about getting into 3D printing, start here. It's this – I think uh, Sam and her husband are geniuses. Yeah. Like, I think they're, you know, like brains that are huge. Yes. So they built a plug-in 
for Fusion 360, which, which is, is where you build. Bella. Yeah, Bella Pro. Mm-hmm. So the way this bad boy works is you just click a button and boom, there comes. There's no it's extruding. Insane. Yeah. Like Whatever it does everything. Word, that was an intense word. No, I think I know how to spell it. Yeah, no mirroring, no, no cut lines, cut no bridges. Wall. It just you just like press this button and magic happens, and then you get a cookie cutter. If if you're worried about building cutters, it takes away the issues. The worry. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, and it's very easy to install, and they have great support. Now, I'm also I have Bella, but I also have Sam's Cookie University membership. So every Monday Night Live, they go live and they tell you about how to make a cookie cutter. In their group, right? In their group, but it's public. It's free for anybody in their okay. group. But after 24 hours, it goes to this membership and then you can just download it. And but I, the classes are great. There's cutters in that membership. There's a ton of cutters, but there's also a ton of knowledge because both they teach it together yeah. and they cover bridges and they cover like, I think once they did the house. Yeah, whatever you make it a 3D. Like she's really big into 3D cutters because she oh, can yes. do it. She did this ice cream truck. And it was the cutest. She actually entered it in to CookieCon, I think, last yes, year. I think won. she won. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, Sugar Dot Cookies. Everyone knows who Sugar Dot is. Dottie. Uh, she'll be doing 25% off, and she will have pumpkin transfer templates, bees transfer. These are for bestsellers. Yes. Bees transfer templates and bows transfer templates. I will say I bought these plastic bags that say thank you on them. And it has a little piping bag as so a decal cute. because I do not have a covered pot at my house. Oh, so if someone comes in the rain, I have to just give them the cookie box in the rain and I don't want it to get wet. So I, I stocked up on those bags, which was nice. She is also doing a door prize winner's choice of any five sets of mini imprint cookie cutters. Are those plunger cutters? Yeah. Oh. I've been calling them plunger cutters all the whole They're, time. Both names work. Okay. We have the Cookie Box Club. They'll be doing 20% off physical baking supplies. So bestseller, stencils, which I know everyone's always I asking for stencils. Stencil from her. <laughs> cookie tools. So, okay. The Cookie Buddy, a printable cookie planner. Nice. Nice. For you pen and paper pals. Yeah. Um, people really like... She said, I am doing a door prize. I'm just not sure what it is. So she is working on that. Very fun. Now, Natalie Tran, if you guys know Natalie, it's Sweet Pink Olive. She does sponsors a lot of the stuff in the group. Very awesome. 30% off. 30 for what? Everything? Yeah. <gasps> so she does cutters. I use her airbrush. That's her number one bestseller is an airbrush. Yeah, I absolutely love it. But that's also a call. Let her go. Hanging up. Let her go. Boop. Um, she is also doing a giveaway of an airbrush machine and that is valued oh with the extra gun at 190. Nice. So her number one bestseller is the airbrush machine, which you have and it's very quiet. If you don't like the roar. I know you know like how some airbrushes are constantly making a sound. This one only makes a sound when you pull the trigger. Yeah. So it's a dual action. Ah, very nice. She does a ton of cookie cutters, which I know you have a ton of. And then she will be, her, her number three bestseller is STL. So 3D printer people, you're about to win. And then people who don't want to 3D print, you will also win. Now, Nicole with Busy Bakers is doing 20% off of physical baking supplies. Now, I think everyone's going to like this. Her number one bestseller is edible ink markers, which I see yes. a question about in the wrong group about once a day. <laughs> yeah. But no, edible markers are amazing. I collect them. They're at my collect. Past so time. edible ink markers, you can write on the cookies. You can write on the cookies, and they come in a myriad of colors, fine I think tips, she has a bunch thick, of colors. you know. Oh, and that's why you like the um, I do bakey like- bake because you punching through it. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> okay, then the neon powder food coloring. If you don't know what that looks like, Corey yeah. used it. I did. It follows on Instagram. <laughs> I did. Uh, it's It glows in the dark, but that's not crazy. like when you turn off the lights. You actually need a... Uh, but it has those punchy neon colors. Yeah, it does. So even if you didn't... Need but a white light. A, is it blue light? Blue light. Blue light. White light. Need Isn't a green light. light. <laughs> you need the sun. Need <laughs> fine <laughs> underact natural light. <laughs> but it is a brand called Roll Kim, um, and they're actually pretty me i thought they they worked great it colored the icing really well um someone said add it to a, like water beforehand i just added it straight to the thing and it worked nice uh her third bestseller is the adjustable rolling pin which i think you'd swear by i love me an adjustable rolling pin now she's also doing a door prize like i said most of the vendors are and it'll be an edible ink marker bundle pack valued at 75 dollars wow. for one lucky wow. vendy blendy can i win tender yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how they're picking. All I said is they just have to pick from the comment section. Nice. 
uh, with no pur- purchase necessary. So Sweet Details GR, if you looked up her website, it's going to look like she sells cookies because you'll never guess what she does. But she is selling a branding package um, and she creates great logos for people. So if it was, she's doing 20% off, if it was your goal in 2023 to kind of, you know, brush mm-hmm. up the old brand, you're going to want to snag that one. More decor. Moredecor.com. She's doing 20% off, again, physical baking supplies. Cutter and stencil combinations are the number one bestseller. When she says the combination, does that mean they go together? Yes. Okay. Why? Wait, you said cutter and stencil? Combinations. Yeah. So, like, a lot of times, like, say if it was the word baby, and then okay. you'd have to project it down. Or you could you make use... make a nose for Nate? The st- baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> or you could use the stencil and either scrape the icing on there, airbrush it on there, or trace. Oh, Nice. Uh, PYO cookie stencils. Ooh, we look good. I love them. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Great for that review. <laughs> and number three is t shirts and digital downloads, SCL and SVG files. Nice. What's an SVG? That is a quality, it's a type of file type. I'm not I'm sure to why. Put you on the okay. spot like you did me. Uh, one copy of our mini course on making stencils with Cricut. That will be the door prize. That'll be a nice one. I need to bust out that you Cricut. Need to bust out that Cricut. Cutterly app with Amanda, cutterly.pro, if you want to check it out, is 20% off and it's organizations, uh, 20% off of annual subscriptions for, uh, oh, I'm sorry, annual and monthly subscriptions for this app that organizes your cookie cutter. Now, Amanda's Hubs is is a programmer. Right yeah. <laughs> One of those smart folk. Maybe they should open Dosh and the, yeah. and the PowerPoint and take over the world. Uh, yeah, so they're uh, giving away... Also, as a door prize, one year free, a $30 value. So it's pretty affordable. And if I've seen your cutter nightmare, you could probably use one. <laughs> Soul Cruise, a home sweet bakery by Soul. She is doing, she is taking the every uh, recipe down to a dollar. Whoa. Yeah, so I oh, almost so think in idea. a way that makes her the biggest discount. The biggest So discount. typically your recipes are $5. You can get them on Bendy Blendy Day for just a dollar. Um, her bestseller uh, recipe is brownie. The second bestseller is pumpkin spice latte. And this is so funny. The third bestseller is Norio. Oh, what, do what you think is it that? Is? I don't know. An Oreo. Right. Nutella and Oreo, maybe? That would be amazing. So her uh, door prize will be an Amazon gift card, nice. which is really nice. Uh, moving on, Bakery Teco. Bakery. Love a Bakery Teco pun. Nothing lands like a Bakery she's Teco got, shirt she's got pun. She's got a funny Instagram account. <laughs> yeah, she's doing 20% off. 20% off on shirts. I'm going to make my lips touch while I talk. Okay. Oh, we're not ready for it. Shirts and apparel. Uh, her number three best sellers is your neighborhood cookie lady tea. That's a good one. I thought it was downpouring yesterday while it was Halloween. A lot of people dress up as cookie people. I know. If Smart. it wasn't so just a torrential downpour, mm. we did try to get out and about though. Her number two best seller is Procrast Baker. I have that too. <laughs> Oh, yeah? I do. And our number three bestsellers, I make cookies and sarcastic comments. It's hilarious. So 20% off that. She did it last year, too. Molly also did it last year. A lot of all these people so far are returns. They oh, return really? back. Yeah, wow. so far. Um, Molly is Molly Ray's R A E apostrophe S. Molly Ray's.com. Leave off the apostrophe. She's doing 22% off. 22? It's 2022. Oh, nice. <laughs> she's doing baking, classing, and courses. The number one bestseller she's got is baking themed stickers. Now, I think she runs the gamut of stickers. Some that you I have to need. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Cookie tags. Oh. And now that I've learned what they are. And baking themed t shirts. That'll be a blast. She's doing a Molly Ray's tote bag as her door prize, valued at $15. There's going to be a lot of wiener, I can't like wait. wieners. Like wieners. Wieners. No, no. <laughs> Tell Archie no, said wiener. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Smith is doing, she's with Cute Cookie Kit. She's the one who wrote me all caps email with the fishy <laughs> stuck under the caps. She's doing 20% off and free shipping over $35. Nice. She is the primary, primary bestseller is Cookie Cutters. Uh, cookie packaging. That'll be great. Nice. And then our third bestseller is silk screen and stencils. So, uh, and her door prize will be a $35 credit. Fun cookie artist directory with Janet. Now, Janet writes emails like I like emails written to me with bullet points. Yeah. <laughs> so Janet has started something I think is pretty unique. Uh, she's kind of the only one to do it, but it's a cookie artist directory, like a directory website. Think of like Yelp, but for only cookiers. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you can get your name listed. She's actually a cookie on sponsor. I was like, dude, I signed up. Yeah, no and um, she's doing online cookie artist directory. So you can get a pro listing. 
uh, and enhance, enhance listing or promote a listing. Now, the thing is, she wants to keep the directory real clean so she's not scraping data. If you know what scraping data is, it's when, like, yeah. you can use a script to just, you know. Snag the information off of someone's website. Yeah, which creates a very low-quality directory listing. Now, she's saying, if you want to be listed here, I'm going to make sure this ranks well in SEO, but you got to pay. So, and then because this is kind of around the line, she's doing 22% off as well. It is so fun. I love it. That'll be cool. And she, it's a very cute website. Nice. Uh, Amanda with Brighton Cutters is doing 30% off. Wow. Crazy. Now her, oh, this is, this is going to be a crazy one. Her bestseller is Christmas Cookie Advent Cutters. Yeah. <laughs> Do I you have get I don't have her brand, but I have a ton of stuff from her shop, though. Now, she has – the second bestseller is Vintage Shape 1. So specific. Shape. But you know, it's going to be like a plaque, I guess. She Vintage? has a ton of plaques. Yeah, I wonder. And then the number third bestseller that she has is Side Butterfly. I love it when they get this specific. <laughs> Side Butterfly. Yeah. The, oh, I, I know exactly which one. Yeah? Is. Saying it in my brain. How funny. Okay, Kim. Everyone loves Mulberry Treats. Kim with Mulberry Treats is back – uh, with the Vendy Blenny, 20% off this year she was doing. This is good for the gifting the baker in, in your life. If you're doing some online yeah. gift exchange, this is going to be where you want to snag this. Mugs, magnets, and they are all very any entertaining. She's doing a Wooly Sheep Dots felt garland giveaway as her door prize oh, for 20 She does life. like her uh, yeah, felt garland. She, likes <laughs> gar she did this felt pumpkin class. So oh, cool. yeah. I saw it. Was cute. Yeah. Okay, the Sugar Pod Dallas. If you don't know Dallas, she's got packaging on lock. And the Sugar Pod is one that is meant to impress. So 20% baking ingredients. Y'all who want to get ahead of inflation. Yes. The market won't pay you 20% back and I bounce. <laughs> so might as well snag this stuff now. The number one bestseller is the Baker's Sampler Set. The number two bestseller is Vanilla Extracts and Paste. Vanilla is expensive. It is. Right. Paste specific. Okay, this is a paste. You yeah. can get a 20% off. And then Vanilla oh. Gift Boxes, which would be a nice, again, be, for a bakery yeah, gift exchange. Do you want that for your present? <laughs> uh, vanilla and Confetti with Emily. That She has an Etsy shop. She's doing 20% off of digital downloads. Now, these are kind of cool. Personalized Notepads is her number one bestseller. Who doesn't like a personalized notepad? I, know. I love. Give me. A notepad. Okay. I may make circles on it. I may make notes on it. I may come Little up with the answer to life. To your That's weird. You have to have one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Mom. Uh, her number two bestseller is a boot kit download. That was me. That was rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad the internet or the podcast rude. rose. So boot kit download. And our number three bestseller is Matt. Did I throw you a little bit? Mad. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> just kidding. Never date a Matt. Uh, that is going to be a blast. Emily is, um, she, I think her shop is a little bit newer. So she was like, Heather, I'm going to have this ready to go oh, November good. 1st. Uh, Sweet Cutter Co. is our next Sweet one. Sweet Cutter Co. Is yeah. it an Etsy shop? No, it's sweetcuttercode.com. I literally told you this two oh, seconds ago. Oh, I looked it up. <laughs> she has a ton of cookie cutters. And you, her number one bestseller is the Sweet Gingerbread Man. Cookie cutter. Number two best seller. Oh, ginger mug cookie cutters. Oh, wait. Is that where it hangs off the, the side? Mug hugger? I think. Mug hugger. Yeah. It says ginger mug cookie cutter. I'd have to look it up. I don't know. I have to look and then the, her third best seller is the reindeer cookie cutter. Now, she is doing a door prize. She is, oh, I'm sorry, I missed. Emily's also doing a door prize, a free download bundle. And then Dallas is doing a vanilla gift box door prize. Sorry, guys. Uh, sweet ginger family five piece cookie cutter. Oh, a ginger wow. family. They're all redheads. Just okay. kidding. It's <laughs> <a> red. <laughs> okay, let me go back to my other list. Okay, okay. Coming in here. Okay, the cheerful baker. If you don't know Laura, Laura, there's no way you can't not know Laura. Yeah. Laura has the cheerful baker. What are you doing in your phone? I need you to flip oh, this. I don't so know what they're a selling. Flat, flat. Oh, cookie cutters. <laughs> you are wild. Let me view this one, and I'm going to pull up what the three best sellers are. Um, she's doing 20% off of everything but subscription boxes. Could that be wild? Yeah, I know. Her number one bestseller is the five ornament cookie cutter set. Perfect for Christmas. Nice. The Box uh, set, for sure. Yeah. The number two bestseller is 11 piece mini co cookie cutter set. And the number three bestseller is the cheerful gingerbread family cookie cutter set. It is the year for gingerbread fans. It is. Ginger fans. <laughs> Uh, let me just scroll down real quick. She has it. Oh, Fresia will happen. So she or the door prize will be a charcuterie nine-piece cookie cutter set. 
and decorating class kit in a box valued at 50 buckaroons. That was awesome. Kristen Mitchell with Sweet Frosted Casey. Now, I think you have a history with her. She is well known for the pencil Pencil cookie cookie cutter. cutter. (laughs) It is a realistically sized cookie cutter. It's an 8 inch. I think she offers 6 inch too. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, but you can get an 8 inch and it's the same shape and size as a regular number two pencil. But it took the internet by storm probably two years ago. Right for the gift set. Tack on a $5 Starbucks gift card and send your kid with it. It's adorable. And does she do the boxes with it? You can get the, or the boxes to her or you're just gonna the wanna, You're going to want to. You're going to want to get the You're going to want to get the box. You need the boxes if you're going to sell Because they're, so they're so breakable. Thin. But that's what makes them cute. Yeah. She's yeah. doing 25% off. Oh, number one bestseller, skinny pencil cutter. <laughs> there you go. Number two bestseller, six piece realtor cookie cutter set. Yeah, that's Smart. a good one. Smart. I think it's cute. Well, it is cool. Let me make sure. She's doing a shop credit. She said she would she would get back to me on what the value of that is. And then I am so impressed by Tasty Tin, who just signed up. Tasty Tin, if you don't know, Tembi. I don't know why I feel like calling her Tembi Tin all the t- time, but I do. <laughs> she signed up for the Tasty Tin. She is doing 20% off of spices. Now, Tembi is like a caterer, yes. not baker. She makes it clear that she doesn't like bacon cookies. I don't even think she likes sweets. No. But she really likes spices. Yes, yeah, she does. She's good at spice. She sent us some delectable. Delectable. Yeah, they're so great. But I'm going to read to you the three bestsellers. And it is Garlic Dust. Okay. Oh, you can put that on pop. You can put yeah. that on everything. Garlic dust. If you sprinkle that, yes. I'm not going to say what I'd sprinkle on because I think Tommy's going to be like, "Girl, stop. no." She did, she said you can sprinkle on. It. Oh yeah, yeah. It looks delicious. Um, and then the number two bestseller, her okay, garlic dust being the number one bestseller. Her number two bestseller is the refill of garlic dust. That's, <laughs> That's how much hilarious. people like it. Uh, she said in her three cents, you could probably eat cookies for every meal, but you don't have to get some of our world or family famous garlic dust and use it on everything. Oh, good. Chicken, potatoes, egg, shrimp, crabs, avocado toast, fish. It's just that good. Oh, that does sound good. I'm going to have to snag some. You know, Ashley might like that. Yes, she would. I should do that okay. for her sister gift. Okay, okay, okay. That takes us through our 25 current vendies. Current vendies, but there's but? always room for you at the table if you would like to join the Vendor Blunder. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I think... It'll be a blast. We already have a great setup. So even if we just cut it off at the yeah, time yeah, now, I'd still be We're super happy. happy. But I'm greedy. I'm greedy. greedy. I want more stuff. Me and Matt are greedy. <laughs> <laughs> My future husband I'll break up with. <laughs> so quite, quite fun of me. But I think the Vendor Blender is a blast. Vendee. It was a blast last year. Yes. It is stressful. It is FOMO-inducing. Uh, I think... It's oh, not the people stressful who for the sold... shoppers, man. Yeah, they, they got stressed a... over 80 core backers oh, selling out. She did sell out of those, um, those two popular ones. Yeah. So that could be stressful. Yeah. Uh, but it is a blast. A great time to stock up on cookie cutters. Again, I just read their bestsellers, but these shops are huge. I know. I know. And yeah, you, if you want to plan ahead, write down what your options are for December for your January cookie class for your Valentine's Day You know offerings. what I do? I make a list of the things I want to get people for Christmas. Yeah. And then I put them in a spreadsheet. And then on Black Friday, just go check to stores to see if they have anything like I going on. I do that, but I, I mental note it. Oh, so you forget about it. And put it in the old noggin. Noggin. <laughs> <laughs> I got <a> snooze on it. <laughs> but if you make that list now, of course, these shops, you got a guaranteed 20% off or more. Yeah. But, you know, kind of can do that for your shop unless, you know, okay, so let's say I was going to get Ashley, which she doesn't listen to. No. The, um, I think it's Gobi Heat, G-O-B-I, okay. Heat, a heated chair. lawn chair. Because they go camping. The Oreo Rio. Or, uh, the heated uh, makes a heated seat that you can put I on saw. the chair. And I thought, but the chair seems more direct. Like I know, this, but what I if know, you I know the functionality. Took it with you too, somewhere they also else. have a heated scarf. The heat yeah, yeah. They had a heated beanie, but where would the battery go? I have no idea. <laughs> that would be ginormous. <laughs> that was your head. They did make a new smaller battery. Oreo Rio. Oh, they did. They did. And that's good because yeah. I ordered clunky. the jacket that you had. Return that when I got the new one. With you know what I want to pull? Like not in the cookie. Group. I want to ask everyone like this year. What's the one thing you wish you'd buy again? Like you wish you. The only thing you wish about is that you wish you'd bought it sooner. Like what is that thing? I want to shop through your eyes. Bosh. Next. A lot of people. A lot of people like a bosh. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Well, that was a gift to you. That was a gift me. to me from you and Nathan. Who phoned in his side? He a did. Lot. But wow. Life changing. Okay, so why? Okay, so, okay, so. I almost got through the podcast. Why is it? Why is it like, should anyone be tempted? 
you should be tempted for is it can i just get by with a kitchen aid which is a kitchen absolutely baby yeah so i have a five quart kitchen aid a six quart kitchen aid and then goodness the boss three i used to have four (laughs) Corey, i I did donate to someone (laughs) so never use the kitchen aid why would you need a kitchen aid in a box because I do use a KitchenAid for icing. I think it's perfect for that. You use a Bosch for icing. I've never tried it. Mm. It almost would be a little annoying to use. I've seen the complaints are some of these Bosch hooks for dough aren't actually There's what you're supposed to use. There's a dough hook that comes with your Bosch that breaks. It has plastic parts on it. How and crazy. it cannot handle the dough. I don't know That's what it's a, for. Was it made for bread dough or whatever? Is no, there's a bread dough hook that you will use for your cookie dough. So the cookie dough hook doesn't use Yeah, they work. break because they're both How many in ingredients can you put in that bad ball? I have done a quadruple batch, which is... A quad 20, batch? Quad batch. I can see Arja calling quad batch. Yeah. 20, 20 cups of flour. 20 cups yeah. of flour? Because it stirs from the bottom. It the, the things go down like this. And it's a big donut circle type right. of mixer. But so, this mixing is coming from the bottom of them, not the top like a kitchen aid? No, it, the guy, but the it's coming like this. So here's the middle, and it's like this. So it's still turning. It's just mixing uh, all the way. I don't, know. I don't really know. But okay, it, if you couldn't say Bosch, what was your best purchase this year? Hold on. Oh, a dehydrator was great. Not I've even cookie related. This is just your picks oh, for the year. Wait, well, I know we've talked about this. What, what I did I say? Mine was the HVAC unit. The portable guy. I did get an HVAC unit after you did. I really liked mine. What is something that I always use? I don't know. Let's think about it. You got that external charger. You just got glued your butt. I do like this external car phone charger. You know what? You got an iPhone uh, I 13. I get the iPhone 13. You act like it's done shaking I your world. I do think it's a great video camera. You, right. So, Corey, so to give you guys um, some backstory, we are an Android twin set. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason being because SEO is mostly in Google. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I needed kind of the Android environment. But... I may or may not confirm that maybe it looks like you're filming on a potato. Little tiny. So Corey and I said, for let's get instead of a DSLR, which is a lot. DSLRs are cool and I love them, but there's quite a bit of setup and batteries and charging. To edit. A lot of transfer of files. People don't realize DSLRs yeah. are great until you guys sit down and organize know, everything. Transfer the files over. So we said, let's get a <laughs> what's it, an orphan phone? Like it doesn't have a plan. Yeah, it doesn't. So and we did it for so you can connect to Wi Fi and Corey records a lot on that. Yeah. For TikTok. Ease of use goes a long way in creating content. If you yeah. have to set up 50 things like DSLR, you got to get the light. You got to get the camera. You got to get a tripod. You got to get the audio. And what I did not know is that cooking people, you know how sometimes like each step we know that took about 10 minutes to crust over, but the video itself is only a minute long. Yeah. They're leaving their phone, that extra phone in the holder and, a lot, and just letting oh, it crust over. So they're never moving. So the video is never interrupted. But I was uh, like, how are they doing that? It's two phones. You could get a somebody's like defunct iPhone. Yeah. I mean, iPhone just really has really nice camera on it. Um, so okay, is that what you felt like the, the best stupid stuff? car tray? I use it every day, even for non baking things. Like what pizza? My purse, so it doesn't fall over. Mm. Water bottle. If you drive a little slower, it'll stay where it was. <laughs> skeet skeet. Uh, what else did we buy? What else? What I got a pottery barn robe. My life, my second life started. Yeah. It is fluffy. It is like a towel is it that peeling? cares. You know, like where the little pieces fall off. No, that's what I think I paid for. Now, don't wa- wash it with your zipper jacket, okay? Did Take you a little ruin lesson. It? Just a little bit, but I cut them off with scissors. <laughs> Why it? it you know, like just because it's Did a towel. A one? Yeah. No. My bad, but no. I cut them all off, and that may unravel the whole thing. But until then, I don't have to acknowledge it. But very soft and fluffy. The HVAC portable, you know, which you ended up getting because it's hot down I, here in Virginia. Yeah, I needed it for that cookie room. Meal. You were like, we don't care, but I do. Let's go on. Okay. <laughs> what else, what else did we buy? <laughs> Things, what's something you bought that you wish you didn't get? Oh, um, that a ro- ro- cat, cat litter robot. Litter robot. Okay, now yeah. let's have a little, before you all lambast cat robot, litter robot. Something they have a I new know. one and an old one. And the problem was I got the old one the, the old day one, before the, the new one released. The mouth is small. Is small. And the cats are kind of panicky at it. The new one, the opening is big. So if you don't know what a litter robot is, it scoops the poop on its own. You just come in at the end of seven days. My cousin it, yeah. has four cats. She said, don't tell anybody. 
but she has four cats. But she does, and she said, if I didn't have the little robot, I wouldn't have four cats. I'm it's doing that the old handy. bend over scoopy method still. And guys, I do have the little robot. I'm past the return time. I just have not plugged that bad boy in. <laughs> I, I don't have it down there. Oh yeah, maybe I should. That's a good idea. Because uh, mom gave hers to Jer. Maybe she would buy it. I think she might. Uh, but yeah, but I don't want to g- g- spend an ungodly amount. How much are they? How much is the, the old one? The one I got was the bundle. Okay. Let's say what did a bundle? Seven hundred dollars. <gasps> You're wild and wild. And you I, haven't plugged it I in. I have not. We don't even know if the cats don't like it. Buds is not just using a place to sleep. <laughs> it's never had litter. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you a little bedroom. <laughs> what else would you not have purchased this year? Because you said the litter robot a lot, so. I know. And I probably, if I would have plugged it Maybe in. Maybe you would love it. I'm going to love it. Then plug it in. I don't have an outlet that's not being that currently used right now. A load of crappy old litter. <laughs> <laughs> litter. Um, what else? Cookie step, don't tap. You said not cookie step. Oh, I'm just now I'm curious. You said Bosch was your number one Best Buy. Okay, I, think it's I will crazy. say this. I've had this for a while. The Sweetest Tears stencil holder. If you are doing PYOs and you want to do them fast, you don't need the Sweetest Tears stencil holder, but it is a game changer. Okay, we were definitely headed towards what you wouldn't buy again, and then we went back oh, to sorry, where you would Because I was like, that. oh, would definitely buy don't buy <laughs> that. <laughs> no, I would buy okay, what I wouldn't buy? Others oh, for cookie stuff? I don't know, yeah? Let me think. I'm trying to think of things you had an issue with. A lot of times, I, I, oh, I would not buy the printmaker ribbon thing. Yeah. It's super fun. Yeah. Brothers comes at, has one. And it's not, you're not running the thing over it. It's just spitting it out. Of course, it's not as cute. We're talking about. The printmaker is something you can buy at Michael's by We Are It has a whole keepers. wall dedicated. I know, but it's grown smaller because I don't think it's sold a ton. Yeah. It's but a you can concept. make custom ribbon with your name, your customer's Colored name. printed. It's color printed. So in, in the... But it's not cheap. It's 150 That And then you're stuck with their ribbon. You have to buy their ribbon. It's, it can work on other ribbon, but oh. it only works best on their ribbon. But you would have to test it and make sure. But you almost definitely need the guide. Otherwise, you're going to go yeah. off. It's, yeah, I will say. Yeah, it was quite a rigmarole. Cute. But yeah. do I grab it a lot? No. I would say I bought the Mun Bin 300 DPI, and the other one is 203 DPI. I always go for the higher DPI if you're wondering. It's dots per inch. It's print vernacular I need for you to make me some circles. Make me some. I literally just said, thing. "Do you want to take one?" No, I don't want to learn it. I want you to make oh, it and give me a little roll of like my little ingredients labels. I don't know what's in your I'll stuff. I'll tell you in eggs an that she can't find. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. This is good. I think I should do a poll in the group, like a post what you the best thing you bought this year and post that the worst. Is anything. Thing. Yeah. Oh, Dyson. The Dyson Airwrap. Which one? Do you like yours? I love the hair dryer I have. I somebody I asked don't me, have the airwrap, do I? No. Okay. I somebody have. asked me, should I get an air wrap? Somebody asked me in the cookie group, should I get an air wrap or the blow dryer? If you're looking for saving time. Get the blow dryer. The blow if dryer. you just want to dry your hair really fast. If you want to dry your hair with style, the air wrap. So if you want to dry your hair and look ugly, mine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to dry your hair and look ugly, of course. Um, yeah, so because the air wrap is a styling tool more than anything. However, Shark, the vacuum sure. company, came out with their own air wrap competitor yeah, half it's price. it's cheaper. Yeah. And wonder. people are saying like 90% there. I wonder. Now, it doesn't look, I guess, maybe as good as the Dyson. But I honestly, no offense to Dyson, it feels cheap. The air wrap feels cheap. The blow dryer feels the expensive. The blow dryer does feel expensive. Now, the air wrap I got was the older model, and I got it on sale because it was the older model. They never sent me the the styling yeah, yeah, tube. They that. never did. It was during a weird I submitted time, two though. tickets, and they were like, yep, yeah, <laughs> we all write that down in Corey's old brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the podcast. Okay. Well, that was We're really still just discussing life events of what we thought when we know, what mm-hmm. we didn't like. Mm-hmm. All right. I did a lot of purging this year, so I can't say I bought a ton. I had a three-point lighting system, and that was just really harsh light. So mm-hmm. I got these uh, light boxes that diffuse, basically a diffuser for the three-point lighting system, really unharshed the light. So at the end of the day, a lot of people say, hey, I can't take photos because time's about to change and it's dark all the time. Should mm-hmm. I get a, a light box? White box? Light box. Box. Which one yeah. is it? I don't know. Both. Both. Uh, it's harder. It's not It's not natural light. I'm going to say that. It is hard to work with, but it is a great alternative than no light yeah. at the end of the day. If, at the end of the day, if you need to take a photo. One thing I will say I do like is always have going in my cooking room is an air purifier. Catches the little Smart. floaties in, in Do you want to confess? 
About what? That you forgot to take the cover off the filter for a year? I think I did that on the podcast. Okay. I saw At that on point. TikTok. Yeah, I saw that someone else. Yeah. I'll like, say things I regret there are a bit of a larger purchase. I regret purchasing the a lot of the lenses. Really? Uh, do you think I you need a focal lenses. length? Well, yeah, you find that one focal length and you never take it off. Yeah. So I think we had started off with an 85 millimeter for the Sony A7C, and now I think I'm just using 35. So the 85 was just too far away. It was a lifestyle uh, yeah. lens. So like, hey, I'm going on a trip. Turns out I don't leave the house, so it wasn't really effective. Oh, I found one I don't like. Okay. I did get the Grex. You did. Airbrush machine. That was $500. Can we blame Grex? Can we not take blame only I. Yeah. But and you. the fact that I brought it out of the box and it didn't work right away. And it, it doesn't take a lot to deter Corey, but that was it. <laughs> but I'm sure it's great. I just need something a little bit quicker. I'll say... Leery for those. I have the um, Ender 3 Pro V2. It is not self-leveling. Interesting. So while the price is so attractive, I think it was 180 and now you can get it for 100 from, what was it, Computer World? Circuit City? Can't remember. Something. Circuit yeah. City, the last one passed. Yeah. It's one of those ones. Uh, it is not self-leveling, so it does require quite a bit more patience because if you don't have a leveled bed, yeah. That's what the print bed's called. If it's not leveled, the filament that extrudes from the extruder does not stick. And then you get spaghetti. 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 One thing I went up on okay. again. And wow. this is controversial. Just triggering a bunch controversial. of Controversial. Go ahead. It is the – what was that sound? That was me. It is the heat. Oh, yeah. I probably wouldn't get this chair again. Oh, this really? This is my kneeling chair. I only use it as a stool. I don't use it as the – Why not? Because I don't use it as the way I'm supposed to. I use it as a stool. Why don't you use it with your legs wrapped on it? Because it's, I don't know. I, would I want my back to hurt. <laughs> um, I would not get the heat sealer that cuts off the little the little. Really? Because people it swear cut it. as close as I thought. I don't like the blue heat sealer you just got. Okay. That was an Amazon knockoff. It was a light. It is lightweight. It's lightweight. I think it's, yeah, I just don't think it's quality products. I don't think it's quality. Uh, okay. Can you I, not bring it next time? Not bring what? That. No, it's like Bring the blue it's one. It's I don't want to yeah. risk my good one. Well, I feel like it's either trouble. it's going to cut the bag off or it's going to not close the bag. Well, figure it out. <laughs> I think that we made a mistake getting the Halloween boxes that were huge. Yeah, I didn't measure. You got a you pack of a I billion. You know Okay, okay. Corey's like, oh, they have these cute Halloween boxes. Of course, unless there's a scale there. Well, even if there was, I don't think you'd even pay attention. But they were huge. No. To, to, the know, amount of cookies and icing. Yeah, the amount of cookies and shred. And, and shred. Okay. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Toys. Thoughts. Toys. Prayers. Yeah, it was just a lot to fill up. So it required a lot of product to not look underfilled. And then as such, it just required a lot of time. I know. So I think we still have those downstairs. We do. We do. That one was a no. Anything for cookie classes we wish you didn't buy? You know, I, I know that a lot of people want to teach virtual classes. And if you do, disregard this. But the <sighs> iPivo camera. I know. What very nice. Waste. But we don't teach di- uh, digital it. classes. Sell it. No, we might. Sell we it. We might. Thing. I wanted to. You didn't want to. Sell it. I didn't want to buy it. <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> so it's a really nice document camera. A lot of people used them. Um, they used them at CookieCon, which I thought was super cool. But it's a great way to cast what you're doing with your hands yeah. onto a TV or a projector or whatever. So if you are doing um, classes where you want to project what you're doing, absolutely yes. However, if you're not doing that, I don't find that Corey and I use it yeah. a lot. One thing I would buy is a custom-made stamp from Boutique Stamps. You said all the time. did. And then you had to rebrand. You bought it again. And I bought it again. Always a good sign. I bought that. I think the extra large. And I wish I would have bought the large because I. Up or down? Oh. Great. (laughs) Go ahead. Okay. I like a custom stamp. Why did you wish? Because the, the, I think the extra large is what I got our, yeah, I think she came out with extra large. It's so big. It's perfect for bags. But if I was doing it on a smaller, like a thank you card, I would want just a little bit smaller. But the the stamps themselves are great. And I got a custom one of my logo. That's nice. Yeah, so. If we want to talk software, I wish I didn't buy Copper CRM. Yeah. Uh, it is weird. It, it, CRM is Customer Relations Management software. Great way to really track your leads and where they're coming from and check in with them. And don't forget happy birthday emails. However, Copper, the reason why I bought it, because it integrated with Gmail. However, it was a hostage situation to cancel. You had to let them know 60 days prior that you were going to cancel. However, their system wasn't dialed in. So even though I said, I definitely want to cancel, of course, of course, you can't just cancel. You got to call somebody. 
yep. my worst nightmare. And, the and then their system kept saying, hey, you're not canceled yet. So I kept calling and they're like, you are. But then the email came and it wasn't. I need you to switch my G Suite over. Okay. It doesn't switch it over. You just got to turn it off. Do, It'll just do stop. Do the new name. Okay. Great. <laughs> Let me store that one in my old brain. <laughs> I Any other softwares that we got? Software. I am glad I bought InShot. That you bought app. it. I bought it so it didn't have any ads or that watermarks. InShot is for video editing? For video editing. Editing. <laughs> editing. <laughs> editing. <laughs> okay, good, good. Other things that I wish we didn't get. I think you could have saved some money on some of the cookie class decorations. That last, Shh. you put that little stuff you on the table. You said that was cute. It just kept wrinkling. I know, it's not good. Not good. I thought we were doing cookie kits, and then when we did not, I needed to use it. Fair. To not feel bad about myself. For Corey's new cookie brand, we're ordering a lot of customized stuff to see if we like it or not, and we'll tear it up. Custom box. box, We were supposed to review your rebranding, by the way, on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Okay, what other things do we buy that we wish we hadn't and things? You know what? I bought a tripod. You know, typically, there's two types of tripods, uh-huh. and it's called the head of them. So uh-huh. a video head will be a fluid video head, which means you can do panning yeah, and tilting. Yeah. That's if you're doing videography. But photography has n- a non-video head, so it'll be like a – I'm not sure what they call them when they're not fluid. Stagnant? Mm-hmm. Um, but I found this one from Manfrotto. Now, I like the whole Manfrotto you line, do. but I will say what you pay for is what you it get. So great. that one we got for you was not great. It was 100 bucks. <laughs> but that one is the one I'm bragging about. How much was that one? He was 300 oh. However, I really like it because it does um, a boom layout, which means you can go straight down overhead on a flat yeah. lay. That's a nice versatility. And the other thing is it does vertical uh, – ver- yes. it's a vertical head, so I can completely yeah, change it from is, horizontal yeah, to vertical, which correct. is great for TikTok or stuff like that. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Huh. We got the – now this is getting a little technical. The H8 by Zoom for an external audio for the podcast was great because my we had an audio interface and my computer just hated it. Yeah. So to record the podcast, instead of constantly fighting with my computer, we got this external audio, which you can plug into the wall and just really, you know, great way to record yeah. a podcast if you wanted, like, a little bit more crisper audio. On Amazon, I got a cheaper – phone holder to hold um to to take videos would you buy the canvas lamp again uh, this is what i'm oh. saying the cheaper one you know my camera started tilting yeah. after some time then i got the canvas lamp would buy that again canvas lamp for halloween came out with an all black one. yeah i saw it. i thought it, it didn't nice. came back with it like it yeah i've never seen it before point. i got the white one with the marble base and then you can do a cheaper version if you don't buy the base and you get the just the yeah like it connects to yeah. your desk like the desk you know like yeah. a, but my desk does not have a lip on it so yeah. i i got the canvas lamp and it just it really is nice i will say it so is so nice. the canvas lamp is a lamp turned phone holder and it's if you want to see setup. how it works, any of the um, reels on our Instagram are filmed with that canvas lamp. Keep in mind, it's not going to hold your projector. It will not hold so your projector. So don't think it's going to – you'd have to kind of jerry-rig it and tape your projector. And at that point, I think you're kind of yeah. crazy. I don't know. I don't I know. I would not, not know how that would look. I don't think it's going to look good. Honestly, you would have to tape it. you have to <laughs> yeah. tape it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not going to do that. It's going to be for videography – for TikToks, yes, yeah. and it has a light source on there. So if the you... light and it, but it, here's the thing: it looks really attractive, so it can stay on your desk if it you're is. really kind of going yeah. for the aesthetic look. Which I don't know if I'm aesthetic. Oh. Aesthetic. aesthetic. What a wild word! How long is this podcast? It is at one hour name. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wait, do we got Oh yeah, do podcast. Whoa! Book? I don't know. You just well, said start we're talking. Just chit chat. We were chit chat. All right, get to the sponsors. Go number one, Eddie. A Acor- oh. We always do them last. Acor, go. Acor, we've already talked about them. They are a podcast sponsor. Bless their little souls. But obviously, we are very biased towards not remodeling your kitchen just to take a photo. Uh, And Acor lets you quickly migrate around, try to find that natural light. Sometimes it's in the front of the house. Sometimes it's in the back of the house. And you can create these flat lays and easily change texture. Definitely, if you want kind of a warmer vibe, you're going to go with kind of a darker texture for that holiday feeling yeah they have a uh, dark red which is awesome for both all three holidays you could do july 4th valentine's day nice. and christmas you got the orange for your new rebrand I which did. is a punchy there's orange. A, an orange that's punchy and then there's an apricot which is a lighter hey. orange so depending on what you're looking for right. they have a lemon yellow which is bright yellow it's super pretty Nice. So they are a vendor blender sponsor. They will be 30% off. But if you say, I need a board I want to make now, sure I, they do not sell out on this one this that will, I want. Yeah, this will guarantee you 20% off. So definitely even if they sell out, you still got 20% off using the code sugarcookie 
Not plural. Not plural. Go take it away. Next is Royal Match. It's a meringue powder. It is what I use, and I absolutely love it. I just got my five-pound bag yesterday. How much is that? Huh? That's going to cost you, buddy. No, but we needed it for the holidays, man. Yeah. You got to stock up now so you won't run out. I know. So she just came back with the five pounds. She has had the one pound. But when she sells out, she sells out, my friends. She does. It takes, what, about a month to get it back in stock? Yeah, but she's pretty fast on yeah. shipping out, though. But really, she she's kind of got that one pound always in stock now. Yeah, I think so. So you can use the code TWINS and save 10% at checkout. But that is on bakeitybakeidaho.com. And the brand of the meringue powder is called Royal Batch. There's not more than one meringue powder on our website. No, but she actually I kind of like read at her website a little huh. bit. I like it. Okay, and great. then she made a royal batch Instagram because I was tagging oh, Bakery Bake. Well, that's her cookie brand. Oh. So she's kind of separated. So you just call it royal batch? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, and then Eddie, uh, like we said, Oh, maybe we didn't say. We didn't Eddie, we're giving away an Eddie in the vendor blender. It's going to go to one lucky person, but I got to say, Eddie is one of the coolest machines I've ever seen. It's a direct-to-food printer. That means, yes, he's printing edible ink onto cookies. If it sounds insane, that's only because it is. Yeah. Uh, you can learn more about Eddie. Highly recommend joining their Facebook group, Eddie Printer Users Group. You'll see so much inspo, so many questions. Don't let anything scare you. People are pushing Eddie far beyond what Primera, the company, thought they'd ever push him. And Primera keeps updating him and keeps saying, okay, let's say, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this. Um, so that's a really neat thing. No discount code. They don't run discounts. Uh-huh. Uh, but really worth the investment of, he's not cheap, 3000 bucks, And that's where all those vendor blender dollars, the registration for the vendors yeah. is going towards that Eddie. So thank them for that. Yeah. Do One of you will. <laughs> do we have any voicemails? No. Nothing, not even a text message. No, we do, I can only check the texts right okay. now because we're already in the podcast. But no, oh, got it. What is the phone number for them to call if they would like to text or call in? Okay, well, I'm just putting five seven one. Uh huh. Five five uh-huh. six. Uh huh. Five six four four. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. You, you can call in the podcast. <laughs> That'll be five seven one five five six five six four four. Please text in with something you bought this year that you'd buy again. And something you bought this year that you'd probably not buy. want to buy again. You Please. Know what I did at my I want to know. My son's I mean, 12. And you're getting chit chatty. Yeah, here and there. You always want to make sure that they could call you in case of something happened. But in this technology age, people's phone numbers are You don't want to give them a phone, but you want them to have one. So I changed the Wi Fi password to oh. my husband's phone number. So everyone's my son like, hey, has Nate. memorized. <laughs> Hey, Nate, what's your number? I need to log in. <laughs> yeah. well, that's a smart one. one. So now he has it memorized not against his will. Shouldn't you do your number? I don't know why we did mine. Why we did his. Yeah, I don't feel like Nate. I think he set it up and, and chose oh, poorly. Oh, very smart. Uh-huh. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, so in the case Do you make Archer to log in that often? To your well, home he gets, Wi-Fi? His issues are he loses access when he <laughs> disobeys. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to type in Nate's password, it doesn't work. We got <laughs> yeah. to talk. Okay, anything else you'd like to leave us off with in this Vendy Blendy themed podcast? The Spendy, we should call it the Spendy Blendy. The Spendy Blendy, Blendy. there you go. It's fun. It's fun to shop. You know, and it's fun to shop with people around you. It is. Even virtually. So tag your friends, invite them to the Vendy Blendy group. Um, It is called the Vendy Vendy by Sugar Cookie Marketing. Yeah, even if you, well, even if you, you don't have to be part of the main group to join that group, although I'd encourage some cross-contamination there. However, anybody who is pending for the Vendy Blendy will get in on that day. If you want your spouse to join so you can Ah, tag them on what you want to buy. Good idea. By all means. Good idea. Great idea. I'll let Nate in. (laughs) Wink, wink. (laughs) Nathan, what is your number? (laughs) Okay, I think that takes us to the end of the podcast. Uh, enjoy going through a bank statement. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>